As a non-married person, I didn't think marriage was for me. I adopted a girl from China when I was 34 years old. Because in rural China, many families prefer boys. She was abandoned by her parents after she was born and then lived in an orphanage all her life. The process of adopting a child is very tedious, especially in this case of international adoption. There is a lot of paperwork and supporting documents that need to be submitted and go through various approvals. During this time, I traveled to China many times. Eventually, I was able to adopt this child and I feel very relieved. I love her very much and she has brought me so much joy. She has now grown up to be an excellent college student and will graduate in six months. However, during that time, my mental state was very poor. I would sometimes feel anxious and think about negative things or worry about my daughter's future. At that time, I went to the hospital for a test and my blood cell count had dropped a lot. The doctor told me that I had to do dialysis treatment to sustain my life in this condition. At the same time, the doctor asked me if I had any other recent symptoms of discomfort. I told the doctor that I have had more periods in recent months. I didn't pay much attention to it before, and I thought it was just caused by staying up late and working overtime. After further examination by the doctor, it was found that the heavy periods were caused by fibroids. The doctor told me that if left untreated, it could lead to hemorrhage and threaten my life. The doctor recommended that I undergo immediate surgery to remove my uterus to avoid further deterioration of my condition. I was shocked and scared to hear this news. I never thought I would suffer from such a disease. When the doctor told me the date for the surgery, I wanted to postpone the surgery because I didn't want to miss my daughter's graduation ceremony. However, the doctor told me that if I did not have the surgery in time, the disease would become more serious. In preparation for the surgery, I needed to go to the hospital for a blood transfusion to ensure that the surgery would go smoothly. The blood transfusion process made me feel very uncomfortable. Although the surgery went well, the recovery process after the surgery was very painful and long. Every day, I took my medication and exercised regularly. Although I was tired from these procedures, I knew that it was a necessary step to recover my health. Two months after the surgery, I was organizing my client's information in the office. Suddenly, I felt the whole office spinning. The next thing I knew, I passed out on the office floor. When I woke up again, I found myself in the hospital. I felt a lot of pain at the surgical wound. The doctor told me that my wound was badly infected and that she didn't know what was happening, but that she would do everything she could to help me. I was wheeled into the operating room. I felt like my body was stopping working. Suddenly, I felt an indescribable sense of relief and the pain seemed to disappear in an instant. I could see the doctors and nurses going about their business and seemed to be doing something for me. I could hear the nurses discussing and they said that my condition was very serious. I could feel their worry and concern, but I was unable to respond in any way. Suddenly, I saw a figure appear in my field of vision with beautiful wings and an aura of warmth and love. I realized that this was my guardian angel. He told me that he was always by my side, watching over me. In his company, I felt a peace and calm that I had never felt before. Curious, I asked the angel, am I dead? What will happen next? The angel replied, I will take you to a place where you will get the answers you want. I then asked the angel, can I see my dead father? The angel replied, you can see him if you want. The angel took me into a bright space. Here I felt love and peace, a feeling I had never experienced before. 
I heard wonderful music and enjoyed the beautiful scenery. The angel told me that I was free to explore this place without any time limit. It was a harmonious world, free of pain and worries. Suddenly, I felt myself going backwards uncontrollably. I was back in my body and the pain was once again upon me. The sounds in the hospital became clear again and I heard the doctors and nurses communicating continuously. After a while, my consciousness began to blur again. I was back with the angels again. During these three days, I traveled between the two worlds many times. This experience was a very amazing one for me. When I was with the angel, I felt like a glowing star. This light is fluid and creates a wonderful connection with the angels. I learned a lot about the true meaning of life here. Each of us has an inherent love, which is our innate nature. However, due to various challenges and difficulties in life, we can lose this love or bury it deep inside. The angel told me that my mission is to keep finding and transmitting the love within to help those who have lost it. He also told me that we can choose different ways to achieve this mission, but the end goal is all the same. We are all equal, and that is the meaning of our existence. Then, the angel took me to a beautiful garden. There, I saw my father. We slowly walked toward each other and I could feel his warmth and care. When my father was not yet dead, I did not have a good relationship with him. While he was still alive, I felt very frustrated and disappointed. I always hoped to repair our relationship, but I was never able to do so. However, when I met my father in heaven, all the misunderstandings disappeared. Communication between us became very clear and there were no barriers. My father told me that he had always loved me deeply, but did not know how to express it. He went on to explain that he had had a very difficult time and that it had made him act coldly. He was sorry that he had caused me to be hurt. We expressed our apologies to each other and it helped to resolve the misunderstanding between us. We felt very blessed that we had the opportunity to repair our relationship in heaven. We talked for a long time here. I told my father that I had always felt that marriage was a hassle and that I would rather focus on my career. My father told me his opinion. He told me that he appreciated my spirit of pursuing my dreams, but also emphasized the importance of relationships. He didn't want me to give up on love. He continued, at the same time, I understand where you are coming from. Everyone has their own path to follow, and as long as you feel happy and content, that's the right thing to do. I was touched by these words. Finally, my father said to me, I know you are a good mother. Your daughter is waiting for you to go back. Now, it is time to go back. I asked the angel next to me, can I go back? The angel said, it's up to you to decide, stay, or go back to your daughter. I know my child needs me. If I stay, she will lose the only family she has. That is something I don't want to see. I can't leave her irresponsibly like that. I know that one day I will return here again, but for now... I choose to return to earth and continue my life. After saying goodbye to my father, the angel gently held my hand. Then, we began our descent downward, leaving this beautiful paradise. I felt a little lost, but I knew it was the right choice. With the help of the angels, I began to gradually integrate into my body. I felt my body become heavy, and my breathing became stronger. When I opened my eyes, I found myself lying in a hospital bed. The doctors and nurses were gathered around me, and they all looked happy. They told me that my health was much better, which was a great relief. The doctor told me that my appendix had burst three days ago, but fortunately the infection had not spread throughout my body. 
He used the word miracle to describe my condition. If I had come a few hours later, the outcome could have been completely different. After this incident, I was acutely aware of how fragile life is. I stopped wasting time on trivial things and focused on more important things, such as my family and friends. At my last medical checkup, I told my doctor about the experience. Her expression became stony. She told me that during those three days, they had been doing everything they could to treat me. But they were not sure if I would survive. She believed there were angels who were helping me.